think it's important to talk about dying, but not everybody wants to talk about dying. Um, not even those people who are dying want to talk about dying because I don't think everybody's ready to die. It's one of the last taboo subjects. People don't tend to talk about it. And then when things do happen, it can be so difficult to actually manage. We need to let people know our last wishes, you know, where we want to die, when we want to die, ostensibly how we want to die. It's a very important subject, especially when you get older and you're more associated with, get more experience of people dying around you. And sometimes in a lot of cases, family members and, and people who are close to people who are dying don't want to talk about it because they don't want to think about it happening. When actually the thing that the person needs most is to kind of be reassured that what's happening to them is natural and real and, and it's not something to be afraid of. I think it is important to talk about dying, but I am afraid to talk about dying because it scares me. I think it would probably have to be someone close to me, somebody who understands me. I'd like to talk to my family uh, about dying and the reasons because that they have my best interest at heart. I want to talk to my husband about dying, but I also want to talk to our children about dying so they're more aware of it and it's not such a taboo thing and it's quite a difficult conversation to have. I'm a church minister so you might want to come and talk to me but I think it needs to be someone you've got a trusting relationship with because actually I think this is one of the deepest subjects that we can actually start to talk and share about. I'd want to talk to anyone who was sympathetic, understanding, um, who I wasn't going to upset by a conversation. I would I'd like to talk to my family about it, but they would not talk about it with me. I'm lucky in that my children are very supportive and they we're a close family, but we haven't got round to having this conversation yet. In a pub, you won't sit down and talk to me and say, hey, guess what, I'm going to die tomorrow, this is what I want. It's not the sort of topic of conversation you will have, it's, it is more difficult for us. Talking from experience, my sister died when I was really young and I found that really hard to deal with actually. And if there were more people that would have been more open to talk about that, then uh, probably would have been easier to deal with. I'd like to talk but to, to my husband, but he's not very keen because it's not going to happen to him. I struggle. I, I try, even now, um, when I try and broach it with him about my own death, he sort of... Um, puts the shutter up. Well, I have discussed it and I'd like them to know my funeral plans. I just want it all to be as easy as I can for them at a difficult time. I've already spoken to my husband, um, my mum and dad, and to a certain extent my five-year-old daughter. It's very difficult if you don't have a will sorted out before you become poorly towards the end of your life. Um, so I've spoken to, again, my husband, my brother, um, and my mum and dad all about wills. People have business that they need to finish off. Once you haven't said something to somebody because you haven't been told they're dying, then that's lost forever. Not all of us will have the luxury of saying goodbye. Certainly I've felt that uh, I haven't spent enough time with the people close to me that have died. Every part of life experience is talked about in great detail. This is one part of our life that is hardly ever talked about. My dad knew he was dying. Um, and he had a very um, upbeat approach, really, and that was helpful to us around him. If he was talking about it, that made it easier for us to talk about it. I lost my father when I was 19, but he was my age, at the age I am now, and it left us as a family in a, a really difficult position because none of us had any idea what his wishes would, would be. And I think that's the important thing, to know that what you do after somebody dies is what they would have wanted. And if having that conversation gives you the opportunity to do that, it's got to be a positive thing. I don't want to play the wrong music, because we've got different tastes. <laughs> It does. 
It's going to happen eventually to all of us. I feel okay talking about dying. Um, that may be because I, I have a strong faith um, in God. But I will talk as much as I feel safe and able to do, if you like. And I think that's what I'd like to be a part of, is setting up a culture where people can feel that more often. Yeah. It's part of my job and, and my remit is to try to engage in people in whole life conversations from birth to death. And we're often quite good at talking about birth and the struggles we have about that. So to come here and be part of this, I find it very exciting. No, I think Dying Matters Week is really important to get us all thinking about death and dying because it is one of those last great taboos in society in this country. And if we can learn from places that are able to talk about death and dying more easily, then I think when those really difficult, tricky situations at end of life come, we're just much more prepared to deal with them. I think the most difficult thing is opening the conversation and then after that it gets a bit easier.